the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League, there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football, and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now, fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the balmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears, laughter, and of course, plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2019 series called Make Rovers Great Again. And we are back into the Champions League Lions Den, that is, up against AC Milan. We'll have that game and we'll have... Uh, match in the old Premier League up against High Flyers Stoke, who are in fifth in the old Premier League. But before then, we'll bring him to speed in the one and only game that you may have missed. as a 4 2 thriller against Crystal Palace. Jamie Flinchett took the lead and once again for Rovers. Stroud is with a cross. Flinchett puts it in the back of the net 1 0. However, Crystal Palace dug deep and made it uh, all square with Lucas Manuel picking up the loose ball. Uh, and they actually took the lead. Gareth Ball, the guy who I uh, admired so much throughout the game. Uh, his time at Newcastle, time at Bournemouth. Uh, and Ayala did level it though at 2 2. Uh, into the second half, we went Nesbitt crosses for Stroders to make it 3 2. A cherry on top right here. Duarte sets up Trincao, pulls it back. Duarte gets his first Premier League goal of the season. So here we are, folks, up against AC Milan in the old Champions League group stages. Uh, we currently find ourselves third after a uh, win against Standard Liege and a last minute sort of dr uh, loss to PSG so uh, I think we need to try and get something out of this game and that's why we're going to play a little cautiously with the with the 4-4-1-1 sort of formation uh, we're going to go with Angus Gunn uh, between the sticks Petuccio Morapel Ayala Nesbitt Flitcher Fernandez, Stepanovic Trincao Stroders and Rollhauser up top trying to get all my words out um, and yeah, we've got Lewis Gunn on the bench, Duarte as well, Lee Kangen, Garcia, should we need to go there. But hopefully this will be enough to get something out of this game. Quick look at the AC Milan team. Alex Awobi is on the left-hand side up there. Uh, Dunarama still between the sticks, the player I know so well from my FIFA 19 days. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we still got something in the tank to get something. All right, game on. Rovers kicking us off in the blue and white halves. Nervy, nervy start, perhaps. Gunn plays it short to Morapel. Possible highlight here to Fernandez. Slips in for Flinch. It loses his ball. Bellanova picks up AC Milan to Sonolovo. Yun Hyung Sung is a big old expensive transfer that I think AC Milan picked up. Close to Morapel. Confusion! Alex so Wobi <coughs> snapped on the stupid howler. By Morapel. He's he's very uh liable for a mistake or three is uh Morapel. So he could be costly in our grand scheme of things to try and get out of this group. Yeah, he's just having an absolute nightmare. Thirty three minutes on the clock, one nil down, and yeah. Glaringly obvious error right here. This guy. This guy. So we're going to pull him. No questions asked. Hopefully Rovers can finish strong here. Stroders. Back to Morapel, who's on a howler. Step out of it. Morapel, do not do anything. Daft. His long ball is blown. It. Fernandez picks it up. Step out of it. In midfield. Maisy run. Slips in trick out. And there is the equalizer. There is the equalizer. Still going to throw in the changes at, uh, at half time and make that. Defensive adjustment. And hopefully that should do it. We are squeezed into second spot now, which is uh, which is good. Half time. Let's make some changes. Okay, folks. So I did make one change, bringing Palomino on for Morapel and kind of 
pushed Fernandez to centre back and Nesbitt to defensive midfield. So just the one personnel change. Hopefully, I'll, I'll take a point right now. This will be uh, valuable. Into the final twenty. Is there a, is there a need to go for it right now? We're second. So I would I would think I think it's 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 fine. I would take this chance though to make it even better. Trincao's corner. Fernandez heads it over the top. On the flip side, here comes AC Milan to snatch it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We have to go for our crazy formation here. Positive. Nesbitt, you're coming off, I'm afraid. Garcia is now attacking midfield. How about that? Duarte, you've been absolutely quiet. I mean, Rollhouse has been absolutely quiet. Last five minutes. What a what a collapse here. Palomino shoulders. Palomino. Oh goodness gracious! Just the concentration is is lacking. As now AC Milan run away with it. Three one as we try to press. We're gonna from Champions League finalists. I know it's still just the halfway stage of the older Champions League. We need to do something special to to turn this sucker around. Back-to-back -back defeats uh, as Rovers look absolutely woeful. Yes, yes. Costly Rovers. I'd say costly. Meanwhile, in the other game in our group, is it happened to... Yeah, AC Milan. Paris Saint-Germain put six past Standard Liège. So, uh, they're looking home and dry at the moment. Okay, folks. Uh, next up for us, it is Stoke City in the Premier League. Uh, we come into this match in fourth spot. A win for us today could technically go top of the pops, depending on uh, goal difference and all that kind of good stuff. May United had a slip up yesterday, and uh, uh, Cardiff just upset the odds with Liverpool, who are in ninth. Gosh, they're down the table there. Stoke, on the other hand, are in seventh, and that shouldn't be underestimated because a win for them today could also see them go up to second. Uh, they started in pretty good shape. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go back to uh, our formation that's been pretty decent for us at the start of the season. I'm going to go with this lineup. Uh, Gun between six, Petrucci, Gasic, Ayala, Nesbitt, White, Straudas, Trincao with a supporting mid of Garcia, Stepanovic, and Rollhauser up top. Let's go. Flinch on the bench? Yes, let's go for it. Hopefully we can put that Champions League nightmare behind us. But this this team is the scare me. Alex Augusto is a uh, top goal scorer who's been at the uh, top of the goal scoring ranks for the past two or three seasons. I ain't going to click on him now. I'll click on him after the game. Uh, because usually when I click on someone, it, they usually come and bite my ass. Uh, so let's go for it. Yeah, Alex Augusto is that good. I've thought about buying him on a couple times. But I just don't know where I would put him in in my squad at the minute. White pulls it back. Garcia aiming. Trincao. Oh, Rollhauser keeps it going. No, breaks now for Stoke. So, yeah, White gets the nod over. Flinch it. Just, just, I've got to rotate them. 18 minutes on the clock. Nesbitt with the throw. Comes out to a Stoke player. Sarachi now, Rue. Osman. Better get it back now, boys. We better get it back. Passing. Garcia with an ugly tackle. Keeps moving, keeps moving. Sets up Trincao. Long range effort. Stepanovic gets in there. First goal of the season. Well done, boys. Well done. Good desire there by Garcia. Eventually comes out to Trincao, who's the assist king. Stepanovic with the final touch. However, waste not. Jao Victor. Instant reply. That is frustrating. One shot, one one on target in the back of the net. Osman to Sirachi. Look at that quick passing all the way up the field to Victor Stepanovic. is back there to defend. He's all over the place. Nesbitt in a bit of trouble. Stepanovic looking for an option. He loses it. Victor, Victor. 
gun. Paris eventually clears it, and uh, White was an amazing run. Trincao's effort. There's quite a lot of chances coming thick and fast here at Ewood. As we close out the first 45, is there another highlight to get excited about? White crosses straight to the arms of Mustafa, the keeper. Stoke highlight, perhaps. They're going to end the half strongly. Punted down the middle. Berger, Victor, Greenwood. There he is. Trickles out for a corner. That was nervy. Especially Augusto in that area. You would fancy his chances, Greenwood. 14 shots for over six on target. Mm, but only level. Half time, 1 1. Second half, Rovers kicking us off. I'd like us to win this one, to be honest with you. Last sixty minutes, uh, last thirty minutes. We're gonna we're gonna bring on Flinchit for Petuccia. Have a Garcia up here. Fact. Okay, triple sub, triple sub time. White to flinch it. Crosses, three cows in there, instant impact. Jamie flinch it with the assist. Let's slip that back down, a positive. Whew. That's important. Three cows on the score sheet for a change. Up to second, lads. Still, there's an Alex Augusto chance to come. Greenwood from a Rovers corner, this. Polo. Flinch it. Come on, son. Maisie run. Maisie run. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, my goodness. A little. That would have been. That would have been class. It was class. It just. It just needed that little bit of magic just to get over the line. But like I said, while he's still on the field, Alex Augusto, he can still pop up with a 6.2. He's been one of the worst players on the field. But that could change in a heartbeat. Five minutes to go. Less than that now, really. Oh, crowd plucked out thin there. We've got about 130 left. Is there another goal in this stinking match? I hope not. I hope it ends as is. Fired down the middle. Victor. This doesn't look good. Ayala. Back. Gun. Pay attention. To the other gun. Trincao announced Maisie run. Gun slips it in. Garcia's efforts. The other Garcia. Two Garcias. Two guns. Last 30 seconds. I think Rovers have this now. Nesbitt. Or have I spoken too soon? Ayala, Garcia, Franco, that is. Flinch it now. What a, what a game changer he was. Stepanovic, Nesbitt. Just keep the ball, lads. Good response after that defeat against AC Milan. And that, my friends, puts us in second spot on goal difference just behind Manchester United. Anyway, uh, that's going to wrap up this one. In the next one, we will come back for the Milan-Huddersfield uh, match uh, as we edge closer to the month of November. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. And if you're new, smash the subscribe. Back here tomorrow, same time, same place, for some more FM19 action with the MyTV TV Blackburn Rovers. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.